guys, so today I filmed this look for you right here, and this has just been my go-to look, like my absolute go-to look. When I don't know what I want to do with my makeup, this is what I go to. Sometimes I just change out the lashes, or I just change out the lip color, but everything else is pretty much identical every single time. Just love the way it looks, and it's very warm and bronzy and smoky, and yeah, I think you get the point. So if you guys do like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Okay, so first things first, I need to get this mess of what I like to call hair out of my way. You know, what you gonna do, girl? And then take a sip of water, and then I'm gonna go in with my first primer, which is the NARS Smudge Proof Pro Base Eye Primer, something like that. So I'm going to evenly distribute this all over my lid because you guys know I am super oily, so I have to double prime. And then once I get that all over my lids, I'm gonna go in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20 and just go in and tap that all over my lids and then go over it with my damp beauty blender to make sure that there is no extra or unnecessary product. Then I like to go in with the Makeup Forever Translucent Powder just to set the concealer and also to create a base for our eyeshadows. The shadow that I'm going to be going in with is Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie on a Sigma E40 brush. Just going to be popping that into my crease, no rhyme or reason, all the way from outer to inner corner. Then right on top of that, I'm gonna be taking Max Soft Brown just to deepen up the crease and give it a little bit more definition. Same thing, no rhyme or reason, just popping that into my crease. Then on a Sigma E25 brush, I'm gonna be taking Max Saddle, and I'm gonna be a little bit more precise with Saddle than I was with Soft Brown and Peach Smoothie, just because I really want to round out the eye and get it more precisely into the crease. So I'm taking it all the way from outer to inner corner with the same amount of product. Then of course going back in with that Sigma E40 brush just to make sure that there are no harsh lines and that all of the eyeshadows are blended nice and smoothly. Then I'm going to go in with the Sigma white haired fluffy brush. I'm not exactly sure of the number of this but I just picked up max texture and applied this from my lash line all the way into my crease and then blended it into the other shadows. I absolutely love this color for all over the lid just because it has the smallest amount of shimmer in it but once it's on the eyelid you can barely even tell. And I don't even know what it is about this brush, but I love the way that it applies the shadow. And I just feel like I have a little bit more control over the amount of product that I apply. Then I applied a really thin band of liner. I didn't realize that my camera had stopped filming. But when I use thicker lashes, I like to apply a little bit of eyeliner just to help them blend. And then, of course, prepping my lashes for the falsies. And I'm using the Maybelline Colossal. I always forget the name of it. It's my Holy Grail Mascara and I always forget the name of it. Then I'm going in with my favorite lashes of the moment, which are the Blinking Butte Lashes in the style number six, I think. There's two pairs of lashes that I'm absolutely obsessed with, but I think these are the number six. And just popping those on with a pair of tweezers and then of course my House of Lashes Lash Glue. And as you can see, I was having a little bit of struggle with this lash. But once I have them on, I'm going to go in with my first primer, which is the Bosha No Shine No Pores Treatment, I think is what it's called. And I'm just applying that into my T-zone and then going in with my Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. As always, I love the way these two primers mix in together. And I will have everything linked down below. Then I'm going in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and just popping on a few dots all over my face and then of course blending it out with my handy dandy beauty blender. If only I could actually blend that fast. So once I have it evenly distributed all over my face, then I'm going to go and blend it down on my neck just to make sure that there are no harsh lines and it doesn't look like I'm wearing a mask. Now I'm going to be filling in my brows starting with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Fix, which this is just a wax and it's going to help keep all the hairs in place while I fill them in. 
Then going in with the Anastasia Brow is for the inner portion of the brow I use the shade chocolate and for the outer portion of the brow I use a shade dark brown I like to start with the lighter color in the inner part of the brows just to help them blend and look a bit more natural and then of course going in with the spoolie to help blend a little bit more and to pick up any extra product and since I already have fairly thick brows, I just like to fill them in for any sparse areas that I might have and specifically to get my desired shape to help frame my face. But I will go into more detail when I do my full eyebrow routine. And just like that, the brows are done. Now moving on to highlight, since this is such a full coverage foundation and I don't really have any dark circles, I just wanted to brighten up the face. So I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime Stick in Light Boost and of course using that underneath my eyes, in the inner corners, in between my brows, down the bridge of my nose, above the cupid's bow and then of course on the chin and then blending that all out with a damp beauty blender the reason that i highlight in between my brows down the bridge of my nose the cupid's bow and on my chin is just to help even out the under eye highlight because i don't want my under eyes to be super super bright and then the rest of my face looking dark and when i blend it underneath my eyes i make sure to drag it all the way back to my hairline and then with whatever product is left over i'm going to be taking that into the inner part of my eye and to set all of that highlight i'm going to be mixing the anastasia beverly hills banana powder and the mac pro powder in emphasize and for contour today, I'm using my Benefit Hoola Bronzer in the Sigma F05 brush, which is one of my absolute favorite brushes for contouring. And I'm just going to be putting that in the hollows of my cheeks, tops of the forehead, underneath the chin, along the jawline, and down the neck. Then back to the eyes, I'm going to be taking the Sigma Flat Definer Brush and a little bit more of Saddle, and I'm just going to be placing this all the way from outer to inner corner as close as possible to the lash line and then taking a little bit of soft brown and texture on the Sigma pencil brush and just really, really smoking that out. My favorite part of this entire look is how smoky and overdramatic my lower lash line is. And I went back in with the E40 brush just to kind of connect the shadows on the upper part of the lid with the lower lash line. And for the inner corner and a brow bone highlight, I went in with Max Shroom just because it is my absolute favorite highlight of life. And then of course, blending once again. For the lower lash mascara, I went in with MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. This is my absolute favorite mascara of all time for the lower lashes just because I feel like the wand just really grabs on to your lower lashes and extends them as much as possible without making them look super spidery. Then to finish off the face, I went in with Becca's Mineral Blush in the shade Wild Honey, and this is just the most perfect blush for this look because it's super warm, matte, and bronzy, and I absolutely love the way it completes the rest of this look. And I'm using the MAC 168 or 180. 88 brush to apply that for highlight today I wanted to just light up like a disco ball So I started off with the Becca highlight in the shade opal and my Sephora fan brush And then over top of that I went in with the makeup forever pro sculpting duo powder in the shade number two then to finish off the brows i'm using the anastasia beverly hills brow gel in clear and this is just going to prevent my brows from falling throughout the day for this last step you can go with whatever color eyeliner you would like but for today i decided to use max costa riche it is just this gorgeous ready brown color and i just think it really ties the entire eye look together and lastly for the lips, I'm going to be lining and completely filling in my lips with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade Native. Over top of that lip liner, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick. I know, what are you going to do? I'm obsessed. And I'm going to be going in first with the shade Lovely. And then right over top of that, I'm going to be using the shade Milkshake. Then once I have both of those on, I'm just going to tap them out with my finger to help mix them. All right, you guys. So that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.
So today I am back. Oh. They don't care about that. Why are you even saying that? Nope. Nope. 